Hey guys, it's me, Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy. How are you doing today? <laughs> today we're going to talk about our favorite subject, which is sales, but not really. Maybe it is selling yourself on being happy as an older person. That's what my video is about. The title is uh, Selling Yourself to Be a Happier Person as You Get Older. Okay, I know that sounds kind of strange. Now, why would you want to consider being a happier person when you get older? It's a good question. Because, see, here's what happens. Life can be tough. It can be rough. We go through transitions. We get older and we think that, hey, man, my dreams are all over. I'm ready to retire and maybe I'm ready to die. Okay, don't be that person. Because, see, our topic for today is selling yourself on being happy as an older person. And what do you need to do to make yourself and your life a more happier a life? Give yourself purpose and give yourself reason to keep living. See, here's one of the things that I've learned as I've gotten a little bit older. Things don't always work out the way I want them to. Sometimes things happen that are outside of our control. We have families, we have kids, we have business. We have uh, health issues. We have situations that come into our life that can just take us over the edge. And sometimes it can be rough. People get married. They get divorced. Family members pass away. Those significant others that were maybe paying the majority of the way in our lives. We were living at one particular, you know, height as a when we were younger. We had nicer house. We had to downsize. There's just a tremendous amount of things that can pull us down. I mean, in this world that we live in today, it's just kind of crazy. We have so many people that are so frustrated and angry and they take it out on each other and it's just really sad. So my simple job today is let's talk about some things that we can do in our life to make ourselves more happy. You know, for me, myself, one of the things that has helped me uh, as I've transitioned as an, becoming an older person is I started watching my health. Now, I'll probably never be a really skinny person and that's okay my simple job is to wake up every morning and get up and go I had this one lady she was 105 years old I may have told you this story before but you might want to listen because it's very poignant this lady that I used to be a CNA I did that kind of work for a little while to see if you know I wanted to get into the medical field and I ran into this older lady I saw her scooting around the hallways one day and I always noticed she always had this big old smile on her face and she would just pull herself around the whole facility and I saw her coming in and out of rooms and going around and she was always happy <clears throat> and I come to find out that on her birthday she had turned to be 105 years old I said 105 years old now that's pretty doggone old and she was still mobile she was still getting out she was still happy she was still full of energy and one day I just decided well I'm gonna go up to her and ask her how did she live to be 105 years old and I I walked up to her and I said hey ma'am and I started saying hello to her and wishing her a good day and everything and I said to her ma'am how did you live to be 105 years old and she looked at me I mean just with this look on her face like you know why nobody's ever asked me that question nobody's even probably you know never maybe they may have or may have not I'm not sure but I asked her I said how did you live to be 105 years old and she looked at me she said come here come here come here and she was real close to her room and I said to her yes ma'am how did you live to be 105 she said you really want to know and I said, yes, ma'am, I really want to know. Inquiring minds, we all want to know, how did you live to be 105 years old? She said, you see my roommate in that room over there? I said, yes, ma'am. She said, she going to die. And I looked at her puzzled, and I thought, ma'am, you shouldn't say stuff like that. She said, she going to die. And I looked at her and said, ma'am, she's only in her late 60s. What makes you think that she's going to die? She said, come here. You say you want to know how you live to be 105 years old? I said, yes, ma'am. That lady don't never get out of that bed. She going to die. And I looked at her and I said, well, how did you live to be 105 years old? She says, I get up out of that bed every day and I go. And I'm like, wow. That's just some inspiration for you guys because, see, life can be really rough. It can be kind of tough, and sometimes it can be overwhelming. It can be exciting, but she gave me this little key that keeps me going every day. She said, I get up 
every day and go. You know, you may not live to be 105. I may not live to be 105. But one of the things I've learned in my life, you know, there's been a lot of adversity and some and things that happened in my life that I just didn't think. I thought it was going to be overwhelming. And I had some bad thoughts. And you probably know what I mean. Sometimes we think and we may need some outside help to be able to figure out what's going on. But one of the things that when she said that to me, it made me reflect on all the things in my life. And why I should have a purpose. Why I should get up every single morning and go. You know, just because we're getting to be in our middle age or we're getting older doesn't mean. And this is for you too, young folks too. Because see, you will, if you're lucky, get older. And adversity will happen to you. Is you need to find something that's going to get you up every morning and get you going. Now, as an older person, I've been in sales for a long time. I've been in sales since the 80s in one form or capacity. And I've seen the good, the bad, the ugly, and the warts at all. And a lot of my videos are about selling. Because, see, a few years back, I, I saw, I was on YouTube, and I couldn't find any videos that would really talk to me as a real salesperson and the things that I was dealing with on a daily basis. And I, my very first uh, video was on, was on 2017. It was on October 31st, and it talked talked about you know how to become a loan officer it really sucked <laughs> but it was like the very first video that I ever did and as I got a little bit better and it's been years now a few years now I have got I'm at close to 700 sales videos in one form or capacity and also I have a, a YouTube video about how to sell real estate I have also a comedy channel <laughs> which is pretty funny under Gary Stanley comedy and so check it out and I've got some other ones under Gary Lee Stanley and and under Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy, and Gary Stanley, your real estate, your real estate sales guy. So check them out and uh, give me thumbs up. But we're getting back on track here. So what can we do to make our lives happier as we get older? One of the things, like I said, is you got to take care of your health. Now, like I said, we may never be skinny like we were in, when our 20s or our 30s and things happen. But see, what happens is, is if you start going to a location, you start meeting people, you start feeling better about yourself. Because as an older people, we isolate a lot and we get lonely. People get lonely. Some people, they go to church, they go to outside sources, I mean, to meetings and stuff. They get involved in things that are outside the home. But still, a lot of people, they, they neglect their peace of mind. So if you decide that you want to take care of yourself and you want to have a better life, I'd recommend go to a place where you can work out maybe three or four or five days a week. You don't have to get in there and try to be Superman or anything, but what it does do for you, it helps with the 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 frustrations the the I don't know how to explain it it makes me feel better does that make sense and remember our video today is about you know how do we want to make our lives better so we can live a more fulfilled life as we get older go and start maybe start walking the community the neighborhood start introducing yourself when you see people and, and when you go work out listen guys you know have a purpose a reason why you want to go there you want to change your life you want to change the way you look you want to maybe lose a little bit of weight maybe and if not even lose weight by working out what it does is it just changes the way you feel it changes the way you look and also guys another thing that you can do is get involved in other ways there are a lot of different programs if you have drug issues or alcohol issues you have AA and Narcotics Anonymous and there are other types of anonymous food anonymous and a lot of different other organizations that give you the capability to go and actually share your feelings one of the things that happens to a lot of old people, and I worked in a nursing home, I watched them just die. I just watched them die. It was like they had no purpose. And I got a friend of mine, he's not doing too good. He's disabled now, and he made himself actually more mentally disabled. And, and we're the same age. He's two years younger than me, and he looks like he's about 15, 20 years older than me. And it's really sad how he's going down because he had no more purpose. You got to find something that gives you that gumption. If you have a yard and you like to make your yard look really pretty, that should be something that you want. If you have grandkids or other children that are in your life, you may want to say, hey, listen, I'm available. I'd love to be around it. Some people, they get a pet, so they start walking. They start going to these different parks, and they start introducing themselves. They start meeting people. <clears throat> listen, guys. 
We don't have to get old and die too early. That lady said, get up out of your bed and go. It doesn't really matter. Find something that you enjoy. For myself as an older person, I've been in sales a long time. So recently I got into the field of real estate. Now, I should have got into it a long time ago. Well, we all have those I should have, could have, if I would have things. But see, it was like I've been in sales a long time. I've been in insurance and mortgages and just helping furniture, just a lot of door-to-door business, to bit, all kinds of good selling. But one of the things that I thought about was, you know, I see these people selling homes and they're higher ticket items. Now, I had to find out that it ain't that easy. It's hard. It's kind of rough and it's kind of tough, but so you got to have tough skin and you got to get more education. That's another thing, guys. If you want to change your way of life, you want to get more education. A lot of people say, I'm too old to get educated. I've got a lot of certifications. I got a lot of licenses. And the reason why is because I wanted to something different. I wanted to live life to its fullest and I'm not going to give up. If you give up before the miracle, you may have lost the opportunity when you go to, you know, when I worked as a, and with hospice patients, you know, some of the people, they had regrets. They didn't regret their jobs. They regretted things that were small. So try not to have those regrets. You know, and another thing is I pray, I talk to God, and sometimes I get mad at God. I'm like, God, why is things like this? Why why are things not working out the way I want? And then God always, in his own fashion, lets me learn from my mistakes, lets me learn through a lot of different other people. So what I'm sharing with you, the reason why I had this little talk, how to be a happier, older person, you've got to find something that makes you get up and go every day, gives you purpose. Like I said, if you got a gym to go to, that'll get you up i mean because if you stay in your house too long by yourself if you're not married you can go crazy you can actually lose it and suicide is just out there it really is guys there's a lot of people that are lonely now there are different platforms you've got facebook reach out to people i mean there are different platforms where you can actually talk to family we can talk face to face with facetime on our phones get engaged in your community get engaged with your church get engaged with your synagogue getting just get engaged outside of the home because see if we have something to do every day we have purpose we have willingness to live and if you want to live a happier life as an older person you got to think outside of the box (laughs) i know i'm a weird guy you know normally i'm all amped up and happy and telling you hey let's have fun see but what i like to do is i go i get up and i go to the beach sometimes i'll just walk around dip my toe in the water won't even get in the water i just like to look at the things and then i'll get out there and start talking to people sometimes how you doing today or i walk around the mall but see sometimes people are a little bit shy so you got to try to get out of your comfort zone you got to start being more open open because if you want to live a better life as an older person you got to meet people people make a difference it really does matter and if you're okay with being by yourself and that's where you're at all the time well that's wonderful but see for the majority of us people we need to get outside we need to meet people we need to introduce ourselves you know go to like i said there are all these different types of organizations that would love to have you be a part of their organizations you know there are some really good ones and i'm gonna tell you what i wish i had a list right now in front of me i'd give you a bunch of them but you got to do your research folks if you want to live a happier life you've got to look for it for yourself you've got to get involved start talking ask people well what do you do for fun and see a lot of times people see everybody on facebook and everything and everybody looks real happy and in reality it's not it's not always the case they could be just as sad and lonely as you are so reach out to people share what's going on and if you have these feelings of inadequacies or you're feeling down today you're not alone a lot of people are so the key to success in this little this little conversation that we're having is how to be happier as an older person you got to get out of that bed you got to reach out to people you got to ask questions you got to start using your phone or your tablet or whatever you use to do your research on how to meet people we can be lonely okay guys i mean we can really really be lonely but we don't have to be 
We have the tools that are available to us. Now, sometimes those tools isolate us and keep us in our homes. But what we have to do is look outside the box. Look for a reason to live. And remember, like my friend, the 105-year-old lady, what are we going to do to survive and to live a 100, to be 105 or an older person? Get up out of that bed and go find something to do. There's something to do. My mom, she's always telling me, I don't know how folks can handle saying they ain't got nothing to do. I can always find something to do. So just giving you a little bit of encouragement, letting you know somebody's thinking about you and that you're important, that you matter, and I love you. And if you want to live to be an older, happier person, it's time to go ahead and start planning. Okay, so do me a favor, guys. Have a wonderful day. We just had a serious conversation. What does it take to, to enjoy being an older person? Now you have some ideas. All right.